Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'll try to explain and simulate the design and construction of plus 15 volts and minus 15 volts dual polarity power supply circuit with the least of the components. For complete article with explanation and design calculation, please visit my website www.helptoeducate.com browse to electronic projects where you will find this article the link is also given in the description as you can see complete article with explanation components and diagram so without wasting any time let's get started with the simulation now you can see to save the time I have already added up the components and connected them. Before you try to simulate this circuit, you must be familiar with ISIS. You must know how to add components, how to edit their properties and how to connect them to make a circuit. If you have any problem with them, please get hold of any tutorial of ISIS for the beginners available on YouTube. Once you've done that, you can simulate this very easy dual polarity power supply circuit. We start off with the AC power supply. The, com the properties are 314 volts amplitude with 50 hertz of frequency. That's what is in the most of the countries. The next I have added is a switch. It will act as an on off button for our circuit. The next is the transformer. Although we can rectify or you can convert the AC directly into DC without using this transformer. However, to do that, we require expensive and high voltage rated components. In order to avoid that, we step down our voltage to a lower value where we can use cheap and easily available components. For their purpose, we use a central tape transformer. Please keep in mind that we cannot use a simple transformer in this circuit. It must be a central tape transformer. And transformer should be such that it converts 220 volts to 325 volts. To achieve this in ISIS, double click on the transformer properties and change the coupling factor to 0.15. How I get this value? Just divide 25 by 220. The next is the bridge rectifier circuit, full wave rectifier circuit. It consists of four diodes connected in a proper configuration. It converts the AC into a DC voltage. However, the output of this bridge is a pulsating DC. Now what is a pulsating DC? That's what it is. It although it is a DC voltage but not a smooth enough. It consists of these changing lines. So to convert it into a smooth DC, we use the smoothing capacitor. Now how to find the value of this smoothing capacitor? is not the scope of this article. However, you can easily find it with any article or book explaining the full wave rectifier. It is very easy to find. The value required for this circuit is 2200 microfarad. Although the output of this capacitor is a smooth DC. However, with a very small fluctuation in AC, we can see a considerable change in the output. However, for electronic circuits, we require a constant DC voltage. For this purpose, we use a regulator IC, which gives a constant output voltage. Even there's a small change or there's a change in the input voltage within the certain limits. For that purpose, we use the IC7815, which is a voltage regulator IC easily available and it is connected as shown. 
Now you can see these two capacitors at both end of the IC, they are called bypass capacitors. It is mentioned in the data sheet of this IC to use these capacitors. The values are also mentioned so you don't need any calculation for them. Once you get to this point, we get a regulator 15 volt output. Now you can see once we have this output terminal and this output terminal, this gives plus 15 volts, this gives minus 15 volts. This lower portion is a copy of this upper portion. However, it must be sure that you get the connection from the back end of the bridge. Now let's see how it works. Now when I press the play button, I get zero volts uh, because of the switch, it is open. So let's me close it. And there uh, you can see, hooray, we get plus 15 volts here and minus 15 volts here with respect to this middle line. So this is how you achieve dual polarity power supply circuit. Friends, hope you have liked this tutorial. We are open for any comments, suggestions, mistakes or feedbacks. Thumbs up if you like it and share it with your friends. It will encourage us to make more of such videos. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.